then welcome to the next section so in this section i'll be covering the weldment so you if you do not have uh, weldments in your tab you can just click anywhere here and you can select weldment from the tabs so um, this is so you can click it to bring it or hide it so weldments are actually used in the uh, th such models where we are creating uh, some structures so the first and foremost requirement for creating any weldment is that you need a sketch on which uh, we will be working so i'm changing my units to centimeters here and uh, let's just first make a 3d sketch and if you have any doubts regarding the 3d sketches i have already covered a section on 3d sketch so you can go through it so let's make a quick 3d sketch so i'll be making a table so we will actually apply the weldments on that table so i'm just making a quick uh, 3d diagram you can also go for the 2d version of it and by using multiple planes you can also make it so i'm just making a quick uh, sketch here so to switch uh, okay i can i i am working in jdx plane so i will just do it quickly so i am making a table here so okay again one more okay then let's just apply quickly the relations so the first relation is that these uh, four are the legs and they uh, will be equal and uh, uh, equal will work they're also long uh, along y-axis sorry just pressed x a long way now next is that uh, add relations these three are also equal and parallel now these three are also equal in parallel and uh, these two are supposed to be perpendicular and this is also perpendicular okay we can complete it in one time because we have already sub, uh, applied the equal and well now let's just apply some quick dimensions here so i'm choosing the length to be of uh, around 50 centimeters and the uh, breadth uh, okay increase it by like make it one meter so it will be 100 centimeters and the width of like 45 make it like a 65 okay now increase the length leg size here so leg size will be around 45 so you can see uh, the sketch is fully defined now let's just come back to uh, weldments so uh, let's just get out of it so let's just find enter a uh, weldment so we can create a, a weldment feature just click on it and we have created a weldment feature so let's explore what we can do with uh, weldment so the first thing that we are going to see is the structural member so uh, structural members gives us a lot of options to apply the structures so first we choose the standard which we want so i'm selecting iso so let's just check every one of these one by one so first i select the angle iron and I choose the smaller size and uh, when you choose here then you click on this uh, your sketches and the, that particular uh, profile with that size will be applied now there is a condition you can see there is a group so I have clicked on on all these four sketches and it has been applied but when I try to click here it does not apply it, it is because that we can only add uh, in in a single group uh, the all the sketches should be continuous or they have to be parallel 
so this is a uh, continuous so for example if i just clear it i can apply it also okay i can just apply it in this way but i can also apply in parallel ways for example if i just click here so you can see i can uh, right now i can also apply in the middle way because uh, this is parallel or it has to be continuous so let's just select the continuously now you can see i have applied uh, our first the profile that is angle iron and the size is 20 20 cross 3 next is uh, let's just zoom into it now okay let's just change all of these and let's see how they look so i select c channel and select size 80 cross 8 now you can see how it looks this is c channel and uh, uh, but we are going to use rectangular tube so i am selecting the minimum size here now we can also change the corner style so let's just uh, so this is from where now you can see a lot of type for here the first one is end meter where uh, you can see a diagonal uh, um, profile is made here so this actually applies to the whole group so whatever the group is here selected then the all this all of these properties will be applied to that so just zoom into it again and uh, you can try whatever you want you can see there is a uh, multiple types so i will leave it here now the next thing is we can apply some distance here that is for the welding distance so we can apply anything but i am leaving it at zero you can apply it uh, like a 1 mm 2 mm depending on the welding uh, proposed by the designers next uh, uh, one of the important is uh, the angle you can also rotate it you can see as i click uh, change the angle the angle also changes here so this is pretty much it and let's just uh, create new group in the new group i apply here but I cannot again select this one so I also select uh, let's select here square tube and select the minimum size so in center I am using the square tube that is a uh, group 5 okay now one thing you need to notice that so whatever the selection that we will do here that will apply to all the groups but we can apply the these properties which are below the group to individually to all of these for example if i select the square to here then the square two will be applied to all of these uh, group four and group five but i can change the angle in both of these so let's just see here so first i go to group five and uh, that is in the center it looks fine i go to group four and uh, i bring back its angle to zero now let's make another group in which i will select the center one so i find that uh, okay, i select the size okay everyone has everyone is changed so i select rectangular and i select the size so you can see uh, our center part is completed now let's come to the next part now we have to apply structures to the the legs of the table go to again go to structural member so i, I will refer it as uh, let's select pipe for uh, this below one so i go to select a minimum size and create a new group so i can add on at once because uh, these are parallel so I click here and it gets applied. Now you can change all of the properties if you want. Now you can see it it is applied. Now we have a weldment structure. Now there is a thing that you need to notice. Let me change the appearance here. So if I change uh, it to glass. So for example if I change it to glass. Now you can see that these pipes are actually going inside the uh, 
per one so what we can do actually that we can cut these pipes so they end at the bottom plane of the upper structure so that can be easily done using the trim and extend so we click here that what bodies uh, we want to trim we want to trim these bodies so select all of these now we can select that uh, trimming boundary we can select the bodies or we can select the face so if we want to select the trimming body then we have to select all of these otherwise we can just select the face plane select our bodies to be trimmed then select our face and uh, we don't want to build a gap and apply so you can see when i select these pipes uh, for example if this one i select then I, I i find only this one and when we'll be creating a bill of materials we will get the length of only this pipe not the above one which we just trimmed so this is a pretty useful uh, way to work with this uh, trim and extend now next uh, feature is uh, the extruded uh, bows which is pretty much same as a feature so for example if we need to make a, a plate somewhere uh, go to weldment and if we need to make a plate somewhere then we can use this feature so i can just click on it and uh, it's just normal one you make a sketch on or something and just uh, you can sorry not here so you make it and uh, just go to weldment and you can just extrude it and this is pretty much normal so you can also access this feature from features so I'll, I'm going to delete it. Now the next important that in tools is the end cap. So we need to close our structures. Let me apply the uh, different material. Let's just go to metal and apply different material. That is uh, for example polysteel. it's applied now let's come to end cap so end caps are basically used for closing so i want to close this pipe i click here and now you can see a end cap so it's a extra metal which is added now there are three options i want to keep it outward inward or in between now internal so i can also keep it internal so if I key, uh, keep it uh, outward then what happens is that the extra length of plate is added but if I keep it uh, internal then this whole section of uh, uh, pipe will be deleted for example you can see this now you can see the plate and the pipe length is cut cut and uh, extra length of end cap is added but if I choose the external it actually just states that way and I can also use the internal version where it stays in the center. Now there are few more properties. Uh, here I can define the dimensions. Let me go external. You can change the length here. Now there is a, another feature that is called thickness ratio. So let's just apply zero. So when you, we apply zero, the end cap com co covers the whole section of the pipe the outer uh, diameter of the pipe equals the outer diameter of the cap but uh, when i click here one then inner diameters of outer pipe become equals to the outer diameter of the end cap but basically the value which is kept is 0.5 or just keep it internal so keep it internal and zero so you can see it's closed here now this can also be applied easily on uh, all of these just we can just go in here and uh, select all of the faces yeah. 
so we have applied the end caps now next thing is the gussets so gussets are the supporting structures which are added between uh, two perpendicular or any kind of uh, profiles if as long as they have angle between 0 to 180 so for example i want to apply triangular profile here and i select these planes this and this plane now you can see i get a preview of the gusset so i can change the dimensions from here so whatever angle i want so i can also apply a triangular and i could i can also apply a multiple uh, polygon so we can choose the placement of this gusset whether i want it at the center or the top or the bottom and i can also apply some distance if i want offset so i just keep it in the center and i can just apply it now you can see a cassette is applied so you can see it is visible here or you can see go to cut list and you can find everything here now what's left is a weld bead so there are two things in in here which is a weld bead and another one is uh, let me see another one is a chamfer so let's just first check out the weld bead so if we want to represent that we are going to apply a weld along uh, any structural member so we can present that using the weld bead so let's just apply metal also here So we have whole structure in same visualization. So let's just click on weld bead. Now I can select it. Uh, okay. So we can select the weld geometry or a weld path. So I select this circular uh, profile and you can see we have a visible weld bead. I can increase the radius of the weld. Now I can also apply that from what length to what length I want it so I can select it for example like uh, you can see now it is 0 to 0 0.69 inches or I can increase it I can uh, also apply the intermittent weld which is uh, at particular gaps so uh, I am leaving the values to default and just click here now you can see weld has been applied and another weld folder is made so this is about the weld bead now next features are extrude cut and hole widget which are basically that can also be done if you go to here so actually this is it for the weldment so as a beginner this is uh, i think enough so uh, if there is a uh, there are actually more things that that can be covered and i will cover them in further tutorials so this is it for the weldment and if we just want to complete this table we can just make a rectangle here with uh, like dimensions like this and just extrude it and apply some material like one centimeter thickness and uh, i think we are good to go so this is it for this tutorial and you can see when we apply a weld we also get the welding symbol so see you in the next